All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect. All right, Shalom, this is the brother Abijah with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Uh, you know, a quick lesson uh, before camp. Lord willing, it's an edifying one. But I just basically wanted to go into how, you know, us particularly uh, pertaining to us men within this truth, okay, us Israelite men, uh, us Israelites being the so-called blacks and Negroes, so-called Latinos and Hispanics, and the so-called Native and Seminole Indians. We are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. And um, the Lord has called certain Israelite men to be prophets, to be teachers to the other Israelites who are uh, considered uh, the sheep. OK, the Lord's sheep is talking about the uh, us Israelites. OK, we are all sheep, but you have certain, uh, like I said, you know, men who are set up to be teachers to those sheep, to be uh, shepherds to those sheep. We are sheep and shepherds at the same time us, us men, beginning with the apostles and the elders on down who were called to be teachers. And, um, you know, we have to we have to, uh, to tend to the flock. We have to uh, lead our flock by example okay what does a shepherd do you know a shepherd looks over uh whatever flock he has you know uh, and um you know it, uh, uh, as opposed to being um you know a hireling one who's just in it for the money and the benefit you know a, a, a real shepherd is going to look after his sheep in a way of you know he knows exactly how many sheep he has within his flock he knows you know uh what you know he knows specific things about each of those sheep you know what one likes what one doesn't like he knows different you know marks and things like that not not saying that we have to do that with you know other other people but it's the the emphasis being put on you know the, the care is there you know the it's not just for uh benefit you know and that's how we supposed to be man we supposed to not only do this because you know this is our reasonable service to uh, you know, if he was called to prophesy, if he was called to teach the word, that's our reasonable service. We supposed to do it, but why are we doing it? We supposed to love what we doing. We supposed to, you know, you know, put forth all of our effort, man. All right. And um, if you love the if you love the flock, man, you are gonna look after the flock. You you will sacrifice yourself for the flock, you know. And then and our sacrifice, you know, like the scriptures say, we must uh, present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And uh, part of us presenting our bodies that living sacrifice, you know, we uh, going out in all in all forms of, of weather, uh, on the highways and hedges. You know, brothers going out in the cold, in the heat, you know, in the rain, in the snow. You know, brothers going out and um, you know, just just putting in work, man. Doing these doing these lessons, doing these videos, you know, uh, reading, studying, applying what what we're reading and studying and teaching. You know, to the best of our abilities, according to our portion as, as uh, men. Okay, but, you know, as you can see the title of the lesson, man, you know, we just have to lead by example and guide the sheep. Okay, because the sheep is going to do, you know, those those sheep who are going to actually take heed, of course. But, you know, the, the sheep is going to do what the uh, the shepherd, what they, see the, what they see the shepherd do. You know, just, uh, just like as... You know, us, us men who is called into this truth, our shepherd, which all of our shepherd is Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, but particularly the men, you know, who's teaching the word. Our shepherd is Yahweh Shah, and to the best of our abilities, we're doing what, uh, you know, what, what Yahweh Shah did. Of course, we, we, we would never be able to match, um, you know, exactly how the Lord lived, but we aspire to live as Yahweh Shah did. We aspire to be as Yahweh Shah is. And, um, you know, teach the same things that, that the Lord taught, which was, you know, the ways of righteousness, you know. But um, this is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And uh, this is not saying, uh, you know, be in everybody's business and mind other men's matters and things like that. No, it's. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's simply talking about, you know, don't think about yourself. Don't be only about yourself. Don't be a, a, a narcissist. It's not only about you. It's really not about us at all, man. But, 
uh, us being in this flesh, you know, we do, you know, sometimes we tend to uh, to get uh, forgetful that, you know, it's not only about us, but we have to, you know, shake that, okay, because it's not only about us, it's about it's about the, the, the Lord's sheep as a, as a whole, it's about Israel as a whole, all right? What, and what is our our chief, our main goal, man? To to keep the commandments. That's the whole, that's the duty of man. That's the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments. Okay, and and to the best of our again, man, it's always to the best of our abilities being in this flesh. But us doing these things, keeping the law, statutes, the commandments, to the best of our abilities, we teach others to do so as well because that, according to the scriptures, is the way of life. You know, that's the way. Uh, to live in order to have a, a chance at salvation. Verse 5, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, we aspire to be like Yahweh Shah, to have the same mindset Yahweh Shah had. And what was Yahweh Shah's mindset? He was all about business. He was about his father's business, to be exact. You know? He wasn't about no 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 type of foolery and, and, and folly. You know? He was about balance. He was about being humble and, and uh, he had that humility, you know, but he was about business, you know, he was, he was uh, very patient. Uh, verse six, it says, who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, okay? And Yahweh Shah was made in the image of, of the Most High Yahweh. So it's only right that he, you know, he lives you know, he's that perfect lamb, okay? And and the scriptures speak about, man, uh, the head of every woman is the man, and the head of uh, of the church, being the men, is Yahweh Shah, okay? And the head of Yahweh Shah is the Most High. That's the order. So it's only right that, you know, we, we aspire to live like Yahweh Shah, who lives, you know, like Yahweh. You know, he comes in the spirit of Yahweh. 1 Timothy 4 and uh, verse 11. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Okay, yes, man. We have to be examples. Examples of those who are, are watching us. Okay? Even if no one is watching you, still live as if someone is watching you. Okay? It's always, you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. But you, you, you better know that Yahweh Shai is watching at all times. The scriptures say what? The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know? So we we know that Yahweh Shai is always watching. But you never know what person is watching. Okay? A person may not even be a person. It can be an angel unawares. Recording your actions. Recording your reactions. Recording your, your uh, you know... The way you go about certain uh, scenarios, you know, and this goes for myself first, man. I have to be mindful of who I, uh, how I deal with people, how I talk to people, you know. But while we remind ourselves, we have to remind each other as well, man. All right. It says, uh, verse 13, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. You know, yeah, rehearsing the righteous acts, applying the scriptures. All right. Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy uh, with the laying on of hands uh, of the of the presby, presbytery. Verse 15, uh, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all, man. We have to give ourselves wholly to, the, to, this, to this way of life, man. This way of life being this ministry, this truth, okay? You got to be all in. Not, no halfway, ain't no... You know, most no. We have to be all in, and we have to, uh, you know, warn our people, as we were we were told to do. We was commanded to do. We we told to warn Israel from their transgressions. You know, okay. Tell our people of their transgressions and warn them from Yahweh by Shem All right. The Lord is about to bring forth a heavy judgment, man. So, you know, we trying to get right ourselves. Okay, seeking out our own salvation with that fear and trembling. But we also want to see. The elect be sealed Lord willing We be of the elect we, we we seeking to be of the elect ourselves man But we, it's not just about us We have to warn others as well Okay First of all That's covering ourselves 
so that we we, we can be blameless and, and, and uh, be able to say that we tried to tell them. But at the same time, we really do want to see Israelites be saved, man. But we know, as it is written, man, two-thirds of Israel is not going to be saved. But nevertheless, you still have to play our parts. We still have to play our parts in warning them and, and telling them right from wrong. You know, and, and just, you know, whatever we can do, man, according to what the Lord uh, has given us and what he uh, wanted, wants us to do, what he's called us to do. All right. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, man. It, it, it's, it's, it shouldn't be no end, okay? It, it's not no end. You know, I say shouldn't for those who who, who feel like they, they want to do this uh, every now and then or they only want to apply the scriptures sometimes and, you know, this is not their life. They're not actually all in with this. I mean, you have to be all in. This has to be something that we continue in, as the scripture just said. You know, forever. It's not a time limit on this. This is a way of life. Like uh, the scriptures say, he is not a Jew that is one outwardly. Let me get that real quick. Romans 2 and verse 28. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is uh, outward in the flesh. Verse 29, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, man, of the mind, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. Okay, so it's a lifestyle. It's something that you practice. It's, it's not just words. Okay, faith without works is dead. You can't just say you're doing this and you're doing that or you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. I believe this, I believe that and not show it. OK, it has to be um, it has to be proven. The, the, the scriptures tell us to prove all things. OK. It says again, take heed to, unto thyself and uh, uh, so like first Timothy 4 and 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. Continuing what? The law, statutes, and commandments. The things written in the scriptures. The, the things written aforetime were written for our learning. That's what the scriptures say. Those are the things that we're supposed to continue in. Okay? The instructions. It says, For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay? So, again, it's not about ourselves alone. Yes, we seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling, but it's not just about us, man. We have to... You know, spread this knowledge that we were given, this 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 gift, this heavenly gift of this wisdom that were that was bestowed upon us by the grace and mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. This is not for ourselves. So, you know, why keep it to yourself? It wasn't meant to be kept to ourselves. All right, the Most High is pleased by the foolishness of preaching. Okay, us going out and warning our people, even though it's already set up and written that a lot of them won't get it. Hey, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This car just rolled past me and the license plate is 144, man. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just, this is something that we have to inst be, uh, have instilled in us. Okay? Uh, Sirach 33 and 7. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back to uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 11. And I'm going to read it in the NLT version. Okay, 1 Timothy 4 and 11, uh, beginning, uh, I'm, uh, we're reading it in the uh, NLT version. It says, teach these things and insist that everyone learn them. Okay, insist, not ask. Okay, we insisting that you take heed to this, to this, to this word. All right, verse 12. Don't let anybody think less of you because you are young. It's not about age, man. Okay, because first of all, it don't matter how old you are, you have to be reborn. According to the to the scriptures, we have to be reborn in the spirit. Okay. It says, um, "Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity." Okay. You have to be a man of integrity. You have to be an honest man. You have to be, uh, you know, honest with ourselves. We have to, you know, be honest with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and do things as unto Hamashiach. 
Okay, we have to live as if we're always being watched. Okay, don't you don't go and then once you alone, you you uh you know you turn wicked. Okay, or you turn into a, a damn uh, a demon. No, man. If you if you out, if you being righteous, be that. If you are gonna be wicked, be that. No, but if you're gonna be righteous, you have to lead by example. You have to constantly. The scriptures tell us, man. It says, uh, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. We gotta constantly examine ourselves, constantly judge ourselves, so that we don't have to be judged by Yahweh by Shema Shah. We gotta judge ourselves, not be too hard on ourselves, but examine ourselves, and, and uh, you know, uh, you know, make adjustments when 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 necessary, so that we can, uh, you know. So that we can, uh, you know, lead lead by example. You can't be teaching uh, that something is wrong when you're doing the same things that you uh, that you speaking against. All right, verse thirteen it says, "Until I get there, focus on reading the scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them." Man, okay, so we this we have to be occupied in prophecy, focused on reading the scriptures to the church, the church being Israelites. All right, and to and encouraging the believers. All right, and like it's, you know, encouraging the believers. Like I said, you can uh, doing these things. You can both save yourself and them that hear thee. All right, uh, this is so it's frozen on me. All right, this is a uh, Sirach thirty three and seventeen. Consider that I labored not for myself only. But for all them that seek learning, yeah, and those who are going to seek learning are the believers, those who who taking heed to this doctrine. You know, First Peter five and two, feed the flock of the Most High which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. Yeah, you have to love what you're doing, man. It's not supposed to be a burden to you. It's not supposed to be something that you wake up like, oh man, I gotta do this again. No, man, we love doing this work. Okay. Uh, it says, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the Most High's uh, heritage, but being in samples to the flock. That word in samples is just another word for example. Okay. It says, uh, verse 4, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be sub, let, uh, yea. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility, as Yahweh Shah was. Okay? And, um, you know, we have to be clothed with humility, man. We have to live it. You know? And, um, and practice these things. It says, um, For the Most High resisteth, resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Okay? So, yeah, man. Don't be too proud to be a humble, man. Don't. Don't uh, be too proud to, to practice what you preach. It's not. This is not a thing for, you know, like the, the scriptures tell us not to do things as men pleasers, man. All right, but we have to do these things to, to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, it's not just for image. It's not just for for uh, praise or, or, or glorification or justification. No, man. It's, it, first and foremost, it's our reasonable service. We owe, this is a debt we're paying. But at the same time, man, we got we to love doing this. All right, why wouldn't you love doing this, man? The, doing this work, you know, it, it brings forth life. It brings forth knowledge and wisdom. It brings forth, you know, uh, the, 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 the chance of, of being delivered. And, and, you know, that salvation that we're seeking, man. Why wouldn't you want to, uh, you know, share that and spread that as well? But you have people out there who are selfish. First Peter 2 and 25. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Okay? Who is the shepherd and bishop of our souls? Our Lord Yahweh Shah. The Lord Yahweh Shah, he's that, that, that good shepherd. Okay, and we was the one at one time, we was those those sheep that went astray. We was lost. You know, in a dead state. We were uh, you know, we were blind, we were deaf. Alright, but the Lord brought us back, man. You know, the Lord is now supping with us. The Lord is now dealing with us through the Spirit, man. Through, through you know, the, the mercy and the grace. Now we return. So, 
you know, we have to do our part, man, so that others may be uh, returned. Uh, you know, if the Lord wants them, it's going to happen. But if you're not doing your part, if you're not preaching the word, if you're not uh, leading by example and showing that, you know, what's written is, is, is the truth. You know, showing that, uh, you know, you have to prove, man, your faith. But if you're not, if you're not practicing it, how is anybody going to see it? How are they going to know what, what faith looks like if you're not practicing it? How are they going to know what humility looks like if you're not being humble? You know? Proverbs 27 and 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to, the, to thy herds, man. All right? We have to be mindful of uh, the well-being of our, our, our fellow Israelites, our, you know, the flock. You know? And it says, "Be thou diligent, man." And in that diligence, uh, we we can we can make our calling and election sure. All right. And 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 you know also uh, present that chance for others to be saved. All right. But it's all about it's all about actions, man. Showing forth, you know, um, what's supposed to be done. A great example is is. is the experienced men, okay, our, our beloved apostles, our, 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 our beloved other apostles who came before us, they've done a great job at, at leading by example, man. First and foremost, our Lord Yahweh Shah, when he was uh, walking the earth. You know, we would never be as perfect as Yahweh Shah, but that's that's something to, to look forward. That's the, 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 the chief thing we should look forward to and, and look, look up to, I should say. That is the ultimate example, man, of how the Lord... You know, came in, 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 in pure humility and, uh, you know, and humbled himself, even though, you know, he knew, you know, he he could have really cut up, you know, for lack of better words, on these wicked Israelites and these and these uh, our enemies. You know, but the Lord came in that in that humble spirit to prove to us, you know, it's, it can be done. And we can be humble, man. Even though we in this, in this, this wicked flesh, we can be humble, man. We need to be more humble, especially in these times. All right, because it's a lot of people watching, and the scriptures speak about, man. It's, it's going to be a lot of people waking up uh, at the eleventh hour. A lot of Israelites, I should say. And and how they going to know how to be, how to act, how to think, if you're not showing it, if you're not, if you're not, you know, uh, proving that. And you can be a younger brother, and you don't even have to be an elder or a, a brother who's been in the, in the tool for years. You can be a brother just coming in, you know, like myself. And, and again, you never know who's watching you. Someone can just come into the truth, and they can uh, resonate with the way you teach, you know, the lessons that you uh, make. The, the, you know, our elders and, 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 and fellow brothers, they tell us all the time, it don't matter. It's locked in. It don't matter how... Uh, how many views you get? You supposed to, you know, for you know, to, for example, you know, um, I'm into music. I, I used to, um, I used to make music, man. And um, it was a thing where you know, you you would go to uh, open mics and you know perform perform songs. And um, you know, me thinking that at the time uh, that was going to be my career, you know. Uh, it didn't matter if it was a, a little a little bit of people in the audience. It didn't matter if the you know the audience was you know um, hype or anything like that. I'm gonna perform to the best of my ability as if it's a, a full house, you know. And that's how we we are supposed to be. We supposed to you know preach this word with all our might, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. It don't matter even even if you do have a big audience, a lot of views on your videos and your lessons. That's not something that should pump your head up or, you know, make you be, begin to boast or anything like that. You, you have to remain humble, man. The scriptures speak about, roughly paraphrasing, man, the greater you become, the more humble you, you're supposed to become. So that's not an excuse. But when it comes to views and people watching, you don't wait until you get a lot of views to start uh, being on point, to start, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know ma making sure everything is... is, is you know, yeah, you know, just being on point. You have to be on point to the best of your ability from the rip. Okay, but that, but that's how you lead by example, man. I just wanted to uh, go into that real quick. Lord willing, it was, it was edifying, man. 
I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole full elect. Wa'abah, Babal, Kwam Yasha Allah. Shalom.